morning, my friends. This is Green Light the Day with Rosemary. Hugs, my friends. So this week has been an uh, up and down week for me. Um, I've had blue eyes in the hospital, well, in the emergency room. And uh, I can't really discuss what's going on yet because we're really uh, still in the midst of uh, trying to figure it all out. But, and I want to keep his his information uh, as private as I can for now. So this is not the channel to talk about blue eyes, which is my husband. But I am going to read something to you that made a big impact on how I greenlighted my days this, this week. The present is all you really have to deal with. The present at this moment. Life is not lived in some distant, imaginary land of some day where everything is perfect. It is lived here and now with the reality of the way things are. Yes, by all means, you can work towards an ideal tomorrow. Yet, to do so, you must successfully deal with the world as it is today. Sometimes we avoid experience exactly where we are because we have developed a belief based on past experiences. You know, all the things that, all the junk that comes with us. That it is not where we should be or want to be. But the truth is, where you are now is exactly where you need to be to get to where you want to go Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So appreciate where you are today. So many times we don't appreciate it because we are going through the muddy waters at times. You know? Your friends and family are too beautiful to ignore. Take a moment to remember how fortunate you are to be breathing. I say that all the time. Take a look around with your eyes open to the possibilities before you. Much of what you fear does not exist. Much of what you love is closer than you realize. You are just one brief thought away from understanding the blessings that is in your life. I don't want to make this a long video, but, you know, I was reading a few things that I was coming across um, to give me some positive outlook on what was going on with Blue Eyes this week, and uh, I came across these things. And... Um, Honestly, I don't know where I found them. I took pictures of them uh, while I was there at the hospital. And uh, it was like God himself just placed it right where I needed it, at the time that I needed it. Sometimes we can be very overwhelmed. And we don't think that... We're going to uh, come up out of this, these waters. We don't see the light anywhere. It's not shining anywhere. It's like, you know, we've been forgotten, right? And it's not about taking control of your present circumstances, because I couldn't take control of anything. Thinking for yourself and making a firm choice to choose differently, it's about being the hero of your life, not the victim. I couldn't be the victim. I, I didn't have time to be the victim. I had to be the hero of my life and stand firm for my husband this week. Hope that makes sense. So the present is all you really have to deal with. The now. And how you choose to go about it makes a huge difference.
being thankful, being grateful, being, being, you know, the light that my husband needed to overcome some of the issues that he was going through. I will tell you a little bit, uh, his leg has been swelling up. So in my mind, I'm thinking it's a, it's an artery, you know, it's a clogged artery and it just scared me really bad. And we decided to just, you know, he's been dealing with it all week long and well, for weeks, and we decided he needs to he needed to be seen. So we took him to I took him to emergency room, and um, it wasn't clogged. It's a low flow uh, blood flow, and uh, it'll have to be dealt with uh, weight loss. You know, and I got to thinking about all that. I know I'm already at six minutes, guys. I know you guys don't want a long video, but to make a long story short. I had to be in the present. I had to realize that, you know, in order for me to continue, I can't think of what could happen or what's going to happen or, you know, what I have and what I don't have, you know, as far as means are concerned. But I have to live in right now. What, what, how can I control this issue now? Right now. Is there control? And not be the victim, but be the hero of my life. You know? Blue Eyes has to be the hero of his life. You know? There was a time where, you know, I knew that if I didn't do something about my situation, I used to weigh almost 500 pounds, that if I didn't do something to take care of me, then... You know, my circumstances wouldn't have been a good one, right? It would have been death for me because I was having so many other issues, you know. So I had to be the hero of my life. And uh, anyway, the words and the things that I was looking up as I was sitting there in the hospital were these. And uh, like I said, I'm not really sure where I got them. I was... I, I usually... I'll, I'll scan through them, and then I'll take a picture of them, and then I'll start reading them so I don't lose them. Um, but I think I wrote in Google positive thinking or something like that, and that's how I got these words. But they were at the right time. I needed them. And uh, the present is all you really have to deal with, the right now, the today. And I know that that's probably nothing, you know, uh, that no one does not know about. But how you deal with the present. How do you deal with your present? Do you freak out? Or do you just live moment to moment? You know? It's an amazing thing to have goals and to r reach them, right? But when, you know, those muddy waters come, how do you get through them? You know? Because a lot of it has to deal with how we react, you know, our anxiousness, our, our frustration, our worries, you know, they all get built like this, and then that's what, when stress comes and really takes, takes over of our lives, you know. So, I'm going to green light my day this way, being the hero of my own life, and uh, I spoke to Blue Eyes about this situation, and he knows he has to be the hero of his life. So no more, you know, feeling like there is no control. I have control. I love you guys. Go out and green light your day. I hope I didn't make it too long. I'll see you when I see you. Bye.